Hello, warm welcome. I have a staff in my hand, so don't worry. I'm not thinking that I'm the reincarnated uh, Moses or anything. Uh, there's a purpose. And, uh, and we'll, you will see when I talk about this vision that I had a while back, where it was a, another open vision that is uh, very serious, but uh, very um, encouraging. Okay, the video. I mean, the vision starts like so. I'm in a big room, huge room, and there's like a concrete floor. And 20 feet away from me, there's this angel with a, a robe and a hood. And he has a staff in his hand like this. He's standing and looking at me. In front of him, there's a cube of ice, about two feet by two feet by two feet. And that I know in the spirit that it, re it uh, represents the earth, the earth in winter time. If you read in Matthew 24, it says, "Pray that it doesn't happen in winter, because it will be that much harder for people." So, as I'm looking at this guy, this angel, he takes the staff and he goes like so, real high like this, and he goes bang. And he strikes the piece of ice. And as he strikes the piece of ice, the ground shakes and there's lightning and everything else. And that represents the beginning of tribulation. All right. And then it's cracks, the, the, the thing is cracked, earthquakes, and it represents all kinds of disasters. And I looked around me and there's pieces of ice all around me. And then I look back to him and he looks at me and he says, are you thirsty? And, says, and then he says that's only I started to be thirsty to, for the knowledge of what's happening. And he says, pick up and drink. So I look down, I pick up a piece of ice and I put it in my mouth. And as I put it in my mouth, suddenly I'm just um, filled with, uh, oh, what you say, filled with, encouragement and everything else and then I look suddenly it starts showing me all kinds of things and I see the earth and there's the darkness hovering over it and then suddenly a bright light starts to cover under the light and then suddenly it, comes, it takes over the darkness and it rises as, as, and as the darkness is rising slowly the light is rising way faster and that's pretty well the end of the vision. Okay, this shows that in the tribulation, in the last days, God will be there for us big times. So I suggest that don't worry about it. Be calm because he'll be there. Uh, do you think a good father would leave uh, his children that have uh, accepted Christ and obeyed to go to pure torment? I don't think so. You wouldn't do that to your son. So therefore God will be with, the, with you there. And the scripture that um, really describes all of this is, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. That's Habakkuk 2.14. And that describes everything. You see, the knowledge of the glory in the knowledge of the glory, in the glory, there will be extreme uh, help, help, and um, I wouldn't worry if I view. you. And so this is encouraging. I found that encouraging, and I'm not nervous of what's coming. I know when times will come, you will help me. Christ will be with you. So don't worry about it. I was shown a few times during the night I was waking up and the Spirit would speak to me and he would show me what would be happening in the end times. He says, if you as a, um, a Christian whatever pray and there's drought 
He says, I can bring water just on your particular parcels of land. And then he shows me like a from a satellite and I'm looking and I see places where it's squares are all green. That's for people that have prayed for uh, believers that have prayed and they have water. And then he talked to me about multiplication. Multiplication will be something uh, that will happen uh, everywhere. And uh, in the next, uh, some next videos, I will give you my testimony of uh, what happened a few times with me on multiplication, which I never thought I would see in my life, but it is. So again, I say to you, be calm in the last days and keep on focused on Jesus Christ. God bless you. Amen.